um to to your, your best opinion yeah your every opinion counts but what me i see in this uh, scenario is prime boys still need to be you know still need to come and say it's some part of the story it still need to be it still need to be questioned no matter what so much noise in that background i don't know please fix the noise so that we don't get ourselves delayed i'm sorry Auntie's auntie's uh, auntie's question and drill that we hear is some part of the story. Fine, we know that uh, there's a fight that happened in the house, which they are trying to cover up. They never mentioned that to us, and they are trying to pin that there's a fight in the in the program that they went to. So if truly that is what they are trying to tell us that that was killed bad. Prime Boy needs to use his mouth to come and convince the whole world that this is what happened. Prime Boy still needs to be questioned. Prime Boy needs to be called. That's just it. Princess. The Nigerian police said there is a fight between Prime Boy and Mubad, violent fight. Prime Boy is saying no fight. Everybody is there is ganging up on him. There are some things that Prime Boy can tell us. What led to Mubad coming to tell you to get out of the car? What did you do? What was Mubad and Wumi talking about that you come in between them and now they have to chase you out of the car what was that and it's not clarifying that area and it just wants us to seem innocent it doesn't work like that even if there was a fight he uses mouth to explain that mubad came after him mubad invited you to the party to the show right from your house and you came see mubad telling you to come down from the car what was the reason what was that thing that mubad was talking about that you trying to sell to which he refused. See, today you hide it to yourself. Come on. I'm not stupid. Princess. Until you, until you reveal that I thing. I am not Because I want to measure who, whether that thing what Mubad going to tell you his, his childhood friend to come down from his car and that Mubad was even punching you. You have to tell me something big, not just anything. It's a provocation. I know. Yeah. Princess. I am not saying Prime Boy shouldn't be questioned. Now, let us just do a practical analysis. All right. Which day did Mubad ask Prime Boy to come out of his car? Which day huh? did uh, 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 Prime Boy and Mubad had misunderstanding? Which Sunday day night. did we hear that Mubad Sunday died? Night. Sunday night. Okay. And mobile, we heard the news that mobile give up its last breath on when? The news said Tuesday. Eh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Baby, do that you is what I am told. That mobile buying on Tuesday, on Tuesday. It doesn't matter. Let us try to. Uh, let's try to help uh, Baby. Juicy. Baby, in your argument, in your argument. Okay. The only way that Prime Boy will be part of Mubat's death is if Wumi, Darusha, Adura, all of them conspired with Prime Boy. If Prime Boy is going down, they are going down too. You see what I mean? But they can go down without Prime Boy. But the Prime Boy must go down. All of them must go down together. I don't know how you get the point. The gist. Papaya, Papaya, so, no, I am and all of them are saving just their ass. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I am saying that. Let's do a critical analysis. Bring it on. Mobad won for sure on Sunday. Is that correct? Oh, yes. He had misunderstanding with Prime Boy on Sunday night. Is that correct? Sure. Okay. Did Prime Boy follow Mubad to his house? No. Good. Was Prime Boy in Mubad's house when Mubad gave up his last breath? No. Good. Was Prime Boy with them when they took Mubad to the hospital? No. 
The answer is still no. Was Pan Boy in their house when they brought Mubad back to the house? No, no. Exactly. Was Pran Boy in the house when Baba Mubad came to his to Mubad house? Again, no. Good. So please let me pause here before I continue. How does Mubad death now affect Pran Boy? Thank to the extent that they are saying that it's Pran Boy that killed him. Yeah, stop that now. Stop that. You see, I've been I've cooperated with you, okay, just to help you help you understand your logic. Now my own question is this: Was Mobad brought, brought home alive after the altercation with Prime Boy? Yes, the answer is yes. No, no, you don't. You don't have any evidence. You you only rely on the statement of the criminals. If you want to go by the statement, so, then you should, please, sorry, sorry, wait, please. If you want to use, if you can show me a video evidence or any evidence that Mubad came home alive, I think that will make more sense. But if you want to rely that Mubad was alive because the same criminals say so, then whatever they say, you have to also believe. How about that? So, Paparano, Mm -hmm. If what you want me to understand is Mobad uh, did not reach home alive from on Sunday till Monday and Tuesday before we heard the news that he is exactly. no I suspect that living. I suspect that Mobad did not come home in a complete form. The same way he left the show. I suspect he didn't come home in a complete form, a life in a complete form. He came home in a different form from how he left. Mobad don't have any activity. When you said... See, wait, wait, wait. If you go online there, you can see the last activity that captivates Mobad alive was before the show, where you see him with the whatever and some guys coming closer to the car, okay? Now, after that show there is no video that show mubad alive on monday not tuesday so how do you want to establish to me that he was alive on monday healthy okay okay this is how i want to establish to you that mubad mm -hmm. was alive we heard the account that on their on their way going they they stop at the point in time who gave the, the account the who, gave the account? who gave the account who gave the account the suspect oh right God. the same suspect yes i said disregard their statement that... be critical in your analysis if you consider their statement then at all time you must consider their statement or do it with their statement and use common sense search for your own evidence me and you for example if i ask you did mobile died on the stage while performing no because we have video evidence of him. We don't need anybody to tell us. We have video evidence of him alive after the show. So that show he didn't die on the stage. But did Mubad get home alive? I don't trust any of those suspect statement unless they can show me an evidence of him entering his home. Can we check the camera of the neighbors to show us how Mubad came into that house? Whether he came down from his car or they didn't carry him, rushing him down upstairs. What if they fought on the bridge and he died there? Do you understand? What if they fought on the top Milan bridge and they stab him? Then they rush him home. Do you have the do you understand what I mean now, baby? I'm trying to. Ah, okay, keep trying. Absolutely. I'm trying to. Do you see you wanted to say something? No, I've said it all. Because looking at it now from all the other uh, I mean, party, you believe some part of the story, you disagree some parts. So why will you believe some parts and disregard some parts? So you only you only believe the one that you feel comfortable with. Imagine Adura, imagine that Russia saying that they hacked this account. Is that somebody you want to believe? <laughs> and Adura from nowhere saying that he was the one who embalmed Mubad. And women from nowhere 
saying that Mubad was pressing phone when the nurse came. <laughs> A person with a swollen hand in a very dangerous condition. They tell him that they told us he was pressing phone. He asked, uh, baby, do you believe all the statements? Those, um, I mean, Adura, uh, what you mean? Uh, who has uh, Adura, Wumi, and uh, spending. Do you believe all, all the account that they gave? I believe some and I did not believe some. That is the problem, yes. And you know so what? You... The one you believe, I may not believe it. <laughs> you are, so you only believe the one that suits you. So that is the problem here. If you know Just that they are lying, yeah, they are lying. They will need evidence. Yeah, they they need Let them back what they say with evidence if they are confident enough. Let them show us some evidence. I expect women to be telling us, guys, I'm telling the truth. Okay, if you don't mind. Let me go to my neighbor, okay? My neighbor, please, show your camera, the whole world. Please look at him, look at this. Show us something, not hiding. A lot is hidden. She's not helping in any way. In fact, we are the ones saying that let us go to that street and look at cameras that will help us see where the car came in, when the car left. We are the ones doing all of these things. We may just, they are scared. They know they are part of it. Exactly. Uh, Bibi, imagine we saw, uh, uh, I mean, Mobad before he entered the stage. And when he, I mean, and when, uh, but we never saw when he finished and go back home. So does that mean that the cameraman, uh, that, I mean, uh, when he finished, the cameraman is no more available? His phone is no more available. So there's something that really happened there. They, they have to go give him his phone. He cannot hold his phone. His phone has to be with DJ or have to be. In fact, the fact that Adura had to go up. To know that some okay, all the rooms were up anyway, okay. But now they are all lying. How all of you were downstairs and your rooms were upstairs because according to him, all the rooms where they sleep, bedrooms is upstairs, down just like the parlor, like the sitting room. All right. At that time, something very important, crucial was happening. You guys were downstairs, right? And Mubad and Mumi was upstairs. We now hear a noise. Okay, then you now okay. Sorry, not noise. Then you feel like mobile phone was with you. Then you now take mobile phone to mobile home. Then you now saw them arguing. Okay, like it's not cool, it's not adding up. It's not adding up. It's not adding up. Okay, can I say something? I'm sorry, sister. we can we can agree that uh, mobile was alive but he got home injured understand I, that is after the show i can't agree that mobad got home alive he got home al alive uh, less uh, because they still said the the, the driver of the, the shadow jeep will be able to call you be able to tell us more about that he has not spoken yet till he speak till he speaks he has not spoken till he speaks so he needs to be invited then yeah, so that yeah. you'll be able to put you'll be able to shed more lights to us. And the judge is not interested in him. So okay. Please, I want to say something. Okay, go on, box. Boss. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I uh, first of all uh happy birthday in advance. And ah. you told you told us that you want to go for you want to prank the people that uh, you are you are kidnapping. Please don't go because you I'm have arrested. to be celebrated. You have you have to be celebrated on the thirteenth. Okay. Ah. Please don't go. Okay. Ah. That is very important for us. That's number ah. one. Number two. Ah. I just want to give my submission about mm -hmm. all what is going on, and I, I just want to let you know about that your video you. You told us to go and share and all this thing. Mm -hmm. I, if you, you meant that, um, if you meant that, it's a, it is a very good case. Mm -hmm. Why can't if you, you yes, if meant, you meant that is a very good case? Why can't you let us let us we your your this your page? we that we love you that we hijack this case from them because 
they don't have any team uh team meet team glider what is you are calling them this your this baba this thing just forget about to these these people they are just just forget about them let us hijack that this one like this that we are the one who is going to bring them as a paparino page we want to bring this case this case now we have to petition them or we have to bring them to uh, court if it is possible i don't know i don't know how we are going to do this, this that we want to hijack this but we can still use their lawyer this uh son the new son that the baba have to let us use the son and we ask the son we have contract with the son we want to we want to petition this case is only this one for for today and we want to petition them and we want to bring them to court how much and we have to we here we we have to get that money for them for the son and we want this case in court if it is possible because we if we we public that we are talking here, here every day if we did not do something forget about this justice if we leave this uh leader or that, what what you are calling these people baba people i don't know if we are still waiting for these people nothing is going to be happen you will we will talk to 100, 100 years nothing i can swear my i can swear with my life nothing is going to be happen okay we want to bring this one this one this one this one this one we want to bring it to court Paparino page and we I know that people is going to contribute here because we trust you we want to bring this case to court and we want to use papa lawyer son uh, or what I don't know that that papa know that we, we still want to fight we want it because we cannot sleep we want this case we want this one to bring to court Paparino speech, and we are responsible for that, and that is all. That is just my submission. Thank you. Mm, you know, um, thank you very much. That is uh, that was beautiful. I appreciate. Thank you for your contribution, and everybody's contribution matters. We need everybody together to join hand together. And for for one, justice for one is justice for all. So you know, for me again, there will be there will be need to um to file this case on behalf of Baba Mubad. Okay, because for example, when I look at it, when I took that video again, put that video on the big screen. The bad basic big screen, okay. I mean, you will see the face of Mubad clearly. Look at the hand. And those of you who have not watched the video, you can click on this page, Papariano 3. There's only one video there. Watch it, share, repost it. And it's good that we, you know, have a separate case under negligence. Under negligence. Negligence, negligence can be prosecuted under a criminal case or a civil case. But we are taking the route of civil this time around because, I mean, we can be if we are successful in the route of civil then that can also i mean that can also ginger the criminal aspect of it and it is going to go this way i look at it if i if i were to be mobad father all right mobad is a breadwinner of the alobas family and now those that are supposed to be in care of him who he was responsible for and for them to be responsible i mean back to him they, they conspired against him and as a result the aloba family used to depend depend on this breadwinner and they have taken i mean this breadwinner away and so we seek for compensation okay like all of this time right now the man has to go get lawyer has to go do go fund me has to go do so many things and all mobile assets everything is in the hand of this family that is Wumi and others and co. So this man will seek for compensation there. 
Maybe the money that they will, they will they will even get, maybe they will allow him to get more bad money or whatever, or whatever want to pay. Okay, so if we can win in that route, then the case becomes open. And then we can even pursue the criminal aspect of it later. But let us have them, let us have them shaken. We, we are too, like, I mean, we should be attacking. That's how I see it. We should be the one pressing forward. Yeah. There's nothing bad in please, trying. It's a case. Please do the advocate for our people, please. And I'm, I'm reading the people, they are ready for this. No, no, sorry, sorry. Please, again, again, sorry, sorry, sorry. Again, uh, again, as I said, it is not up to me because we have a family stru structure here and I must respect their fam the family structure of the Aloba, Monkin, Faori, Lenny, Olori. Yes, uh, that's why. That I'm, I'm why coming one minute. Please, a little place with, I mean, I don't do things by emotion here, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Please just see what I am thinking. I'm thinking this way that I expect all of you, all of us, okay, when we bring out ideas, let us take these ideas, approach the family. It must not be me, okay? So many good ideas come. Sometimes it's not from me, okay? I'm a host here. Many people come, they say things. Sometimes I jot things down, I, I write things, okay? But the, the idea has come, the idea has come. Now, should we seek for legal counsel? Yes. We approach the family and see their own thoughts on it. Do you think this case should be carried on? And then the family will approach their lawyer, okay? Because it's the case of the family. Does he feel, I mean, loss, the loss of Mubad? Does he feel, because Mubad used to be, Mubad is the only breadwinner. Mubad have so many assets. How can the man go in and be begging around? It's not okay. Okay? If it's to grant him some portion of Mubad asset, I mean, if that is the case, then let there, let there be a case there. They all conspired and neglected this guy. And they are all lying that Mubad, the, the most painful thing is that they could be even lying that Mubad was fine and healthy until the nurse came. A clear conspiracy. Even after the police, has, the police have established that on Monday, okay, Mobad was in an unbearable pain condition, which then prompted spending to further insist an outsider, a friend of Mobad, to be insisting where the wife is, where Adura is, where Darusha is. It's a clear conspiracy. Okay? And now the Aloba family cannot just sit there and be watching. So in a civil case, you seek for compensation. So even if it's compensation uh, of one Papa three Rano. naira, let them pay it. Papa, Papa Rano, mm -hmm. uh, I still want to come back to the Pramboy. issue of Prime Boy. All right. And and uh, happening on Sunday. The video you can click on this account, Papa Rano three. Please watch, like, share. Don't just watch, like, share, and repost. Papariano 3 for the video. Go on. Papariano, are yeah, you saying that Mubad did not reach, let's assume with that admission that Mubad did not reach home alive on Sunday. So are you saying they were holding a dead body in that house for more than 24 hours? Exactly, and that Is was that the main possible? reason. That was exactly because uh, what see what see what I'm seeing here, right? I am looking at something. I read the story here uh, of um, you were you here when I read the story of the secondary school? Or oh, let me read it. Let me see if I can bring it again in Google. It happened in a school fight. Let me see. Secondary school boy stab in Nigeria. Let me see. Secondary school. Got to stop in Nigeria. That's what they call school fight in Nigeria. You know, like having one school fight in another school. So was, there was this issue of poisonous knife that arose, and I think that case is a very good case. Um, excuse me. No school court is stop. Okay, now this is the the heading says uh, secondary. Okay, secondary school cultist. Cult Stabs boy with poisoned knife. Okay, so this is not the first time we are having people using poisonous knife. 
I mean, young young guys have access to it. Okay. Secondary school culture stabs boy with poisoned knife. Let me just give us a brief of it. Let me see because sometimes it's full story and nobody wants to go to all of it. It says, when 16-year-old boy Oluwa Damilari Olumba 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 is that correct? Did I pronounce it well? I don't because somebody Olumba Olumba is it Olumba? Yes. I be Olumba Olumba. No, just wait. Just, I'm asking everybody. It's not just not, not you. Please, please wait. I mean, it's for, it's for me because I will keep encountering that name. I want to be clear. There is no mark on it. Olubamu, Abi Olubam, Olubami. Anybody wants to correct me on that? Anybody? Okay, let's move on. When sixteen-year-old boy Olu um, Oluwada Milare Olubamu left home for school on the morning of July first, twenty fifteen, he probably didn't know the magnitude of danger that was ahead of him shortly after the young lad had left the compound of his nawar rodin secondary school jebo lagos at the close of at the close of school hours he was attacked with oh my god let me read more it says click here to read more and the page is not popping up. What am I going to do now? Click here to read more. It's not popping up. Page not found. Since you've read it before, just yes. Okay. So what happened? Yeah. yeah. Let me let me get, let, thank you very much. Uh, let me give you the case. Now on this particular case of Oluwa Dami um, uh, Larry, it was a fight between two schools. So I'm sneezing. <coughs> It was a fight between two schools. So these two schools hated themselves and as a result, one of them had to prepare, we have to come with the prepared knife. One of them had to come with a prepared knife, okay? So the person, that person stabbed the other guy with the poisonous knife. And so, the same the sign was similar to that of Mubad. Immediately, that leg, because it was on the leg, it swole. Okay, it's swollen up, it swells up. So now they took the guy to the hospital, and don't forget the sign was that the leg was swollen and it was bleeding. It continued to bleed. To the extent that they had to cut. They had to amputate that leg. Leg. They amputated some part of the leg because it was just swollen uncontrollably. So, what I want to bring out from here was that eleven days after the leg was still bleeding, blood kept coming from that place. So it was swollen and was bleeding continuously. That that poisonous knife. Now, this poisonous knife that has come into this incident of Mubad, we must take it very serious. It doesn't matter who used it. It could be Wumi, it could be Prime Boy, it could be Adura, it could be anybody. But can we verify this particular poisonous knife, its effect on Mubad? Now, there are different poisonous knives. It depends on what poison is in that knife. Let me say, I take, I'm just being scientific right now as a scientist. People can be so bad. If I take a knife right now, I soak that knife in a venom, maybe in a snake poison, okay, in a venom. Then that knife has venom, right? Then I bring that knife and I stab you somewhere such that that knife soaked with venom, it penetrates into you. Do you believe that the venom can be transferred to you as well? Do you believe so? Hello, baby. Paparano, I want mm. to eat myself. Sorry. I. <laughs> I. You should have. You should have told me so that I would pause. Wait, what, what, what was the last thing you heard? No, no, I was, I was, I was listening to you. You know, 
when you couldn't continue from the this thing, I asked you to continue and make a point. My point over here is Papariano. I'm not this. Oh, sorry. Eesh. God. I'm not disregarding what you are saying. But my question is, is it possible that Moba did not get home alive on Sunday and they kept his dead body for more than 24 hours before they announced it to the public? Okay. Now, if I am suing the show organizer, okay, I want to see my son living their show alive. I need something to... If I'm showing the show organizer, my son, they're supposed to, I mean, have full security in that show. The police claimed that there was a serious fight there. And people have been saying that Mubad was stabbed with a, with a poisonous knife in that show. The call between Abu Ebel Hayat and we may confirm that in that show there was a stabbing with a poisonous knife. But this is just one of the cases. We have so many cases here to look into. We don't know which one is correct. Some say Mubad was stabbed at home, some say on the show, some say on the bridge, some say somewhere. Even Mama Mubad continued to mention stabbing. We may said, was it, was it baby Liam that sent people to go stab Mubad? What rule after his son? Mama Mubad said it was the father who sent people to go and stab Mubad. Okay, we don't know who stabbed Mubad. Okay, but don't now what if Mubad was stabbed with a poisonous knife? Paparano, Paparano, hold on. Don't take anything Mama Mubad said serious, please. We are not, okay. We anything are referencing Mama public Mubad public said. Serious. We are saying, the, the, they say, hmm, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. Sometimes these things come out subconsciously, uncontrollably. Maybe at that time, but why out of everything, she has to mention stabbing. Women mention stabbing. And this stabbing is becoming a denominator. And it's a common denominator so far right now. But Prem Boy was on a uh, 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 platform some days back. And some of us was there. And we listened to the question the host asked him and the, the, the answer he gave. Mobad Look, Paparano, if you are saying they should show a video where Mubad left the show, her life, yes, I agree. But Mubad, a, a pram boy, and I keep saying this is my personal opinion. Pram boy have nothing to do with the death of Mubad. I just gave you three different instances. And you were and you, but my one my one instance me. my one instance beat all your instance. I said did he come provided he came home alive, then your instances are correct. You have to prove that he came home alive. Are you saying somebody that did not come home alive? How did they prepare Indomie for him? Thank you very much. Somebody that did not come home alive. Who was I don't believe in their Indomie. Their, their Indomie is fake story. Paparano, somebody that did not come home alive was Wumi arguing with a ghost upstairs for more than two hours and, ask, and if mobad ask, was ask that to me if, ask, that, ask me that um no you two you want us to believe that mobad did not get to that house her life because there is no video showing mobad left the show how as did a, you know as a living arguing, being how did you know mobad was arguing upstairs somebody told you right somebody from that house Exactly. That was okay. The same people from that house told you that Mubad was healthy and fine until the nurse came. So do you still believe that story? Papariano. Papariano. Hmm? Look. Papariano. Yeah. Are you with me? Very, 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 very well with you. There is no way human being will die for the past 24 hours and every anybody will be comfortable to live with the person in a house comfortably 
It's not possible. Does, and, don't don't make it look like there is a, there's a universal law that says that people cannot be with dead bodies. It's not there's no such universal law. But again, we can see signs that what you are saying is correct because all of them were running out of the house. Spending did not sleep there. Spending left. Darusha left. And other persons too left. Why were they leaving? Because something terrible happened on Monday as they got home. Where was Darusha in the whole of Monday? And we make claim Darusha came back home. So why did Darusha leave home? I don't want to be with that body at home. But, uh, let's leave Darusha and spending. I just want to stay with, uh, I don't want, I want to stay with uh, Pram Boy. And just like I said earlier on, did Pram Boy have argument with Mubad after the show? Yes. Did Pram Boy follow Mubad to his house? No. Did Pram Boy stab Mubad with poisonous knife? Pram Boy said he did not stab Mubad. Okay, so you trust him, right? Aristocrat is here. He host Pram Boy. Aristocrat is not a cult. For more than stop, 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 please. I mean, Aristocrat. No, no, no. The, the, aim, the, the, aim, the, the aim of Aristocrat speaking. The aim of Aristocrat speaking to Pram Boy was not to grill him. Was not to grill him. Okay. It could have been for connaissance, for maybe just like have him just answer some, so maybe some minor. You know questions, okay, about or or give maybe background about his relationship. No, between not mine. No, he's trying to tell his story. He's but for him to really, tell sorry. his story. His side of the story. It's for him to tell his side of the story. No, 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 as no, far no. as I don't think happened. so. I don't think so. Aristocrat can do better. I don't think so. Oh my God. So. Okay, now let me ask you a question. If it was made for the interrogation, what was? The discussion between um, Mobad and Wumi, that Prime Boy, that because of that Mobad had to tell Prime Boy to come down from the car. For Prime Boy after. said he called Mobad a name that he was not comfortable with, or that does not want him to be called. Prime Boy said so. That was what we were told. No, no, no. Prime and Boy Mubad never said angry. so. <laughs> Educate you are far me behind. more. You are far, far, far behind. Educate me more, because another school of thought. Says the, that, it that was is an argument between. Yeah. That is not coming from. Prime it was Boy, an right? argue. It was an argument between Mobad and Wumi, yeah. and Prime Boy wanted to interject, and he said, "Don't." Look, more, uh, uh, Paparano, in all this, what I am trying, the, I'm not even into the theory of Mary born Jesus Christ. I, that is not why I am here for the past uh, 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 three hours. Why I am here is Pram Boy know nothing about the death of Mubad. This is me, BB, my personal opinion. Ah, uh, yes, yes, Prime Boy matters have misunderstanding with Mobad after the show, heated uh, argument. Just like I believe that Naramali and Samali uh, Samlari should be punished for bullying Mobad, but they know nothing about the death of Mobad. And if they know, maybe through proxy. They might have planned it out with some people in that house from afar. But they, for me, I believe Samlari Naramali should be punished for bullying Mubad. And if there is anything that links them to the death of Mubad, the, 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 the law should have its cause. But for now, was Samlari and, and Naramali in the house? Did they have anything to do with the nurse? Were they there when uh, uh, the nurse came? No. So if through confession, 
for many of them, maybe just like Wumi said, some music, uh, God loss or whatever, you guys have killed him, come and take your trophy. If along the line, and that is why Wumi is not even helping the matter. So if she knows you niggas have killed him, come and take your trophy. She should mention those niggas that she is talking about. If Samlari and Naramali is among the niggas, then so be it. But as far as I am concerned, Prambo is an innocent. As far as the death of Mubad is concerned. Thank you. Next, please. Pambo has a whole lot of things to to say to I mean indemnify himself I mean from about death okay he should answer some relevant questions Pambo said he saw Mubad call Mubad was calling him on Saturday Look, in a car park Paparano 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 in a car park mm -hmm. in a car park full with fans lovers of mobad people that mm. comes to watch the show and according to prime boy he said well, we came in convoy let's live in convoy whatever whatever and prime boy will stab mobad in the full glare of public and up to now we don't have the account oh no no paparano please no 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 i don't want to do this any longer Pramboy now have misunderstanding and to the stand of stabbing Mubad in a full glare of many lovers of Mubad. And nobody could give an account up to Nanda. Oh, before he left the show, he was stabbed by Pramboy. He was this, he was that. No, 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 no. Look, Wumi Darosha. Uh, 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 spending a uh, uh, JP or whatever. What is the name of that other one that we don't know? Uh, uh, J, what is the name, Paparano? Help me with the name. OJ. OJ. The guy who announces that. They death. should be talking. Yes. They should be talking, including DJ Bami. DJ Bami has been to inquest. They should be and talking. He, he, he also claimed that a prime boy fought uh, with Mubat. All of them, they claimed that. Yes, we are not. We are not denying the fact that prime with Mubat. Does that fight lead to Mubat's death? What if Mubad was stabbed in that fight? Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Hello, boss. Let me prove Let me... your concept. Mm. I want to prove your concept. And Let's what go. Is your concept. Mm -hmm. You are saying that um, the diseased was stabbed and possibly he died before he got to. Yes? Is that your concept? Yes. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Okay. Good. Now, let's backtrack. What was the testimony of the people around Mubad in Dhaka? What did they say injured Mubad? Number one. Because those people that gave her, I'm not talking about Prime Boy now. Those other people. What did they what? say Happened to that and in the video you show those people. What did they say? You mean in the video that we posted? Yes, yes. The injury on his hand. What did they say caused that injury? The fight that he had with Prime Boy. Not the fight, but something caused it. You had a fight. It according to according to DJ Bami, according to DJ Bami, they said when they got home, they suspect that it was the glass of the side of the Prado Jeep. No, no, no. They suspect now. 
There is something I want. You see, we are in a because they were not there, but they suspect they were not there when the fight happened. Now let's backtrack again. In that vehicle, it was the number of people that were there was the driver, was Mubad, was Wumi, was Liam, and was Spending. Who else was there? Those are five people. An infant. According to Adura, the driver was outside, was not Prime in the car, was outside. The, which means the driver was not in the vehicle. Yes, when it was just outside of the, the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So let's say Wumi, Liam, Spending, Prime Boy, and Mobad. Five people. So four adults, one infant. Am I but right again, now? so far, so far, nobody has confirmed to us that they were in the car when the fight was ongoing. What we know so far is that Prime Boy was in the car, the wife was there, and Wumi was there, and the baby. We don't know so of Spending any other account. No, Spending well, was not in the car. Hmm. Spending's last testimony, he confirmed he was at the back. No, no. Uh, when they testimony. came, when they came, uh the in the settings he was carrying the baby but at what point because he also said that they went to uh clear the cars that were blocking mobat car so did he so, carry so, the baby to go and clear the car okay did that is what when that, 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 there? yeah that does that those are some clarities that we need he said that they went to clear the cars that were uh in front of mobat car so when mm -hmm. he came back he saw women have locked mobats in the shed uh, and they were in the car. So, and they were exactly. arguing. Was mm. Prime Boy down there? Was Prime Boy already out of the car? Then, according okay. to that. That, that, that place is not clarified. But right. why don't you just, for me, why don't you just take Prime Boy's statement? Let's work with Prime Boy's statement. No, Prime Boy himself. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Apariano, you see, when we want to analyze this thing, we don't take one in isolation. All right. We take everybody's collective. All right. But that is how you can picture the scene. If okay. you picture one person, you mm. will say the person is seeing it from the person's perspective. Let's see it from other people's perspective. No, the reason why I'm mentioning one person is that in if I can boy, foul if I can foul a person in their own speech, it means I mean mm -hmm. that's that shows it yes. all. Yes, because one thing we all know that is our myth here is all the testimonies do not seem to corroborate and they do not give a very clear picture because certain things were missing exactly now, let me take from prime boy that i interviewed that day prime boy account of it was the argument that started before they got to the show it started from a booty or whatever that recorded before they got to the show and he said it started with a certain lady and it moved to another issue to another issue to another issue and it's getting heated up it's did he tell us the content of the argument did he tell us the content of the argument no, no. because no. he was protecting some people yeah he mm -hmm. did not wait papaya no relax relax mm -hmm. just relax now he did not say when all of us were discussing this thing everybody is talking as if the only thing they argued about is about a certain lady but what he tried to show us was to show us an ontological process of how things work from before they got to the show on their way to the show and that thing still continued even after the show that was what he established for my interview with him and i gave him that question because i don't want to interrupt his thought i want you to give me how we started till where he was no more in the scene now since you want to you are beaming on prime boy's testimony now let me take the one he said on the live, which many people listen to. Now, he said when they were coming, the argument started. And the argument started, they were talking about, let me talk in, in the way he said. He said they are talking about one girl that they both know. So he started and they were arguing and Mubai was saying, don't talk about this. It doesn't matter here. It moved from that to another matter, to another matter, to another matter. And it becomes a chain. But for him, he was, you know, telling the guy that, oh, guy, you have a show now. Don't let this talk between you distract you. You have a show to deal.
deliver. She be we are still all going back to the same house. When you get home, you continue it. And at that time, according to what he was saying that day, he stopped. He went to his show. When they were back from the show, they were in a car park where people surrounded the place. The car was not parked in a way that they can zoom off. It was parked in between cars. So it's not that they can step in and go. Mubad was like, we need to go. They were all in the car. An argument continues again. From that argument that he continued, he was still mediating, let's get to him. Mubad get angry. And he said, Mubad get angry, possibly because he is not allowing him to express himself. He's not he did not talk about someone lock the neck. And, then, and he said, spending was in the car. No, 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 said, no, 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 no. Prime Boy has never corroborated spending, please. Spending corroborated sp Prime Boy, but Prime Boy has never Papariano, corroborated no. I'm talking mm -hmm. about my show. I'm not talking about statements. Oh, when and he was in your show. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. and I believe you were streaming, streaming it down. No, I didn't hear that part. Maybe I joined later. Maybe I joined later. I, I asked him how many people were in the car. He said in the car, spending was at the back. Did he say the, the driver was there and Darusha as well? No, no, no. He did not talk about Darusha. He did not okay, he just, I mean, did you ask him every, no. how many people were in the yes. car at the time? I said those were in the car. I think he counted like five people. Well, I can't pick it. Now, he said people were in the car. It wasn't that it was between him, Mumi, and Liam. No. There are other people in that vehicle. And the argument was going on. And for him, it was only impressing on them to say, guys, make we reach home. Make we reach home. He now said the anger that he thought his friend was angry about was that he didn't allow him to express himself. And possibly Bumi was having an upper hand. And he wanted to talk. He wanted to show. He was like, relax. When you get to, we are going back home. More so, and he was angry that said, let's get out of this place. He then said, we, are, we came in convoy. They need to clear the road. The fans are also around. We want to collect money from him. And even that day, he said, they were not supposed to go home directly because they were supposed to hang out later. Still in Ikurudu. They were supposed to hang somewhere himself. He'll be able to reach out to people. So it wasn't a journey of perform go home, the way he explained it. So he was now saying, we need the convoy is there. Let's even move with the people we came with because we are covered. But he said where they were talking, he got down and he came to his side. And he was saying, come down, come down, come down like, you are, inter you, are, you are so much in this matter. Just come down. Uh, no, don't talk into this matter. Come down. So it was Polini. He then said, people that would listen that, they said, the Mopo or I mean they were there, held him. Now say, ah, Shebi is your friend. Wait till they happen and all that. There was nowhere for, from his account that he injured himself. And for him, he then left the place to go and meet Obi Kubana. Now, at that point, from his own account, since you want to talk about his own account, it was the security that were there, the fans that were there. They will probably not know what is going on because it wasn't a big fracker like that. Now, the one that you mentioned that someone said, we may lock his neck. He didn't talk about that. And he left, he went off. He said he went off to go and meet Kubana. Kubana now told him, okay, if something is happening, you two police or soldier, stay with him. Let me see what happened. Maybe this guy came to tell us something else. And he waited for some time. And when he came out, and even the people standing with him were like, this guy never come back. It seems they said to this. He went back, they've left. They've left with his bag or something. And that of his director. Uh, that I was think they are saying Kubana chief priest, and not Obi Kubana. So that you don't miss, you don't miss that uh, name. Sorry, Kubana sorry, chief sorry. Yeah, what is it? What is the uh, chief priest, whatever the Kubana Shade there, the Kubana guy? Mm -hmm. We know who the person is. Now, that it was according, according to his own account. Now, someone on the panel, when they came up, asked him that they said they were fighting, that people were eating you from the back and all that, where you were going. He now said, I don't know about that. If people were eating me from the back or anything, that I, don't, I never felt anything. I know I went to meet Kubana. Whether he said he walked around to meet Kubana or something, it would be too, but... What he was trying to say that there was no attack on him. Nobody attacked him when he left the vehicle. Now, let's bring it back to the testimony of others. When Wazir Adura or uh, Darusha spoke their own, 
they said they were called to come and separate the fight. Yes? From his own account, he said the fight was not a fight like that to separate because he left the place already. Now, that was his account. From his account, his friend never sustained any form of injury to talk about stabbing or bemakeje, makeje, whatever the case is. Now, let's look at the account of those other people that said, or from the police, that it was when they had a brow. In the process of that, though it did not retaliate, in the process of that, the disease hit the glass of the vehicle that took them and sustained an injury. Now, according, that is according to the police report, which, of course, will have been an account of the people that they spoke with and they achieved that to come to that conclusion. Now, if it was glass that he sustained injury, police never mentioned he was stabbed or anything. Police never spoke about stabbing. The new stabbing talk, I think, came from this interview with those other people with me that they mentioned of Bemakeje. Now, according to police, he sustained an injury because he hit the glass. And I remember our analysis then, we were saying, if he hit the glass with his fist, his fist should have injury as well before he gets to his form hand. We should have seen a number of cuts on his hand, not only one. And police said in their report that he bled profusely. The word profusely is a substantial amount of fluid coming out, which means there ought to be blood in that vehicle. In that vehicle. Then when Obi Kubana came, Obi Kubana himself would have spoken with Mubad because that was the artist. Ah, bro, what did happen? Now they fight, what did they happen? He supposed to see blood for his hand. If he actually was bleeding profusely. Not that he just, if they use the word he had a cut, it's a different thing. You can have cut, you can have bruises. If they use the word bruises, it's a different thing. But he was bleeding profusely. Now, Obi Kubana that came to that place and the security around that place, and according to all of them, they were in a car park where there were lots of traffic. Kubana so Chief, Kubana Chief, Kubana Chief, you like, oh, sorry. you like that name. You'll be sued, sorry. you'll be sued. I think, uh, I think it's because, apologies, I think it's because Obi Kubana. Just say Kubana, don't, don't mean just say Kubana, we understand, just say Kubana. Now, now, let's say the Kubana mm. Chief Priest, the Kubana Chief Priest that brought, Kubana Chief Priest will have approached Mubad himself and said, bro, what did they happen now? Another, they will have had some level of rapport. Then Kubana Chief Priest will have asked him to know. And he would have seen that he sustained an injury. If Kubana Chief Priest, as the person that brought him there, if he had seen something, I believe they will have an ambulance because that is part of the law in a concert like that. The medical physician will have attended to him if he was actually bleeding profusely. Now, let's take it away from that. What was the account of spending about what happened? What was the account of Adura about what happened? What was the account of Darusha? Those people, aside spending, were not on the, at the scene of event. They said they came to the place, which means if they didn't even confirm that Prime Boy fought with Mubad, they came because they were called. Now, let us look at the account of Wumi herself. Was Wumi there or not? I think Wumi said she went to call others or what? I'm, if I'm wrong, just say I'm wrong. What was Wumi's account to the fight between the two friends? Did she say she was there or she went to call others? What did she actually say, according to her own account? You were all reading the CTC yesterday. What was her account of the event? Did she mention anything about it? Did she see them fighting? Did she see Mubad sustain injury? Who among all of these people, aside Prime Boy, saw Mubad sustained injury? Who? So that we all know, because we are doing analysis, so that we can look, and if this is the right thing, we continue to hammer on it. Who among all those people, spending Adura, uh, Darosha, the driver, and Wumi herself, who among them saw Mubad sustain injury by breaking the glasses? Or who among them saw Prime Boy stabbing Mubad? Can anybody help me? Because I don't really know the full account of All right. Uh, uh, you know... Um, we are still analyzing. So, many... so let us get that please, clear. Okay. You want to... You want to the question is about who saw Mubad, I mean, when 
um, procuring that Space injury. An injury. Yes, yeah, so w- yes. when sustaining that injury, okay, when he procured it, yes. so who saw Mobad who at them? that point, okay? So um, from the from the story of a uh, of the Jebami, Jebami claimed that Mobad came down from was the, the car. In that vehicle? Or the Jebami the, was in the second vehicle, but from the way he narrated, from the way he narrated, he, he narrated, he narrated like somebody who who saw what happened. He didn't he didn't say he was told. Yes, so he narrated that he saw Mubat on the other side of the car and punching Prime Boy, and that that is his friend. And then from the next the next thing that he saw was blood was Mubat bleeding. 